Hi. Welcome to Why These Notes. Why These Notes is a YouTube series dedicated to teaching you music theory in sort of fun and interesting and innovative ways. Um, right now I'm going to build the major scale for you pretty much from scratch, from nothing. Uh, when you use this clock, uh, because this clock uh, there's 12 notes in the chromatic scale. The chromatic scale is sort of every note that you uh, can play uh, on a piano or on a guitar. Um, if you play guitar, uh, you know, the 12th fret is, is uh, the octave. So uh, we have, at the 12th fret, we have Do, right? This is also the first fret, or the zero fret. So this is Do here. Uh, and then this is also Do, right? This, uh, this spiral represents a length of string. And every time we get uh, to the same spot again, it's uh, half the length of string or another octave. So each of these notes is Do all the way down, you know, through the spiral. Uh, so this would be uh, full length of string, the zero fret. This would be half the length of string at the 12th fret. This would be the 24th fret and so on and so on. Uh, and if you play guitar, you can take out a tape measure, and you can actually measure the 12th fret is exactly halfway uh, down the length of string. Now, when a piece of string vibrates, it vibrates in a complicated way. It doesn't just vibrate uh, the full length of string. Half of it vibrates, and a third of it vibrates, and a quarter of it vibrates, and a uh, fifth of it vibrates. Uh, and this is known as the overtone series. Um, so what I'm doing here is sort of building uh, the overtone series. So after the full length of string vibrates, uh, and then half of the length of string vibrates, uh, the next thing is a third of the length of string. So after the first octave here, this is Do, we get to this point, which is one third of the way from the center of the spiral to the end of the length of string. Uh, this note here is so, and so is incredibly important note. It's, it's the first note that we discover uh, after do, um, and it's it's uh, it, like as you'll see, uh, it, it is incredibly important for everything we do after this. So after so, uh, we get to a quarter, right? This is one third the length of string. We get to a quarter of the length of string, which is another octave, so nothing interesting there. And then from there, we get to one fifth of the length of string, which is here. And this is uh, me. Me. So now we have do, me, and so. And those of you who play uh, guitar, play, you know, an instrument, piano, whatever, may recognize do mi so as the major chord. So from nothing, from just ratios, uh, I've built a major chord, right? So this is one half, right? This is one third, this is one fourth, and this is one fifth. So uh, from nothing more than, a, you know, just segmenting the string into a few ratios, I've built uh, a major chord. So this is all we need actually to build uh, the entire rest of the major scale. So uh, you may notice that there's some sort of symmetry to the clock, right? Uh, you know, something that's here could sort of be reflected here. Uh, and that's the reason this spiral moves. So if we take this and we think how much, how, what's the distance from so up to Do, uh, we get Fa, and I can show that to you by rotating this, like so. And now the distance between what used to be So and, you know, Do is this, Fa. And we just keep doing this, and uh, we were able to build the entire musical scale. It's pretty fascinating. Um, but. In a lot of ways, uh, Fa can be seen by some people as an inverted Do. It, it sort of, uh, you know, uh, people don't, when, when you build a melody, often when you do this interval, the, the Fa interval, 
you're really doing the so up to do interval. Um, that's kind of interesting, but it's it's a little bit of an aside, but uh, something worth pointing out. Um, so okay, so we have do, mi, fa, and so, and we're missing the rest of the uh, the scale. So I'm just gonna build this out a little bit. All we have to do now is play a major chord on these two notes, fa and so. Right, they're called perfect intervals. They don't really move from where they are. They don't like to move. Uh, and uh, by building a major chord on each of these intervals, we build the rest of the major scale. So if I rotate our Do over to Fa, the, uh, so this is the uh, fourth note in our, our musical scale. If I add uh, a So to Fa, uh, I don't get anything new, right? Adding so to fa doesn't get anything because, uh, you know, it's, it's just do again. But if I add me to fa, I get la here, right? So adding a me in here to fa here gets us la. And then if I rotate it again, like this, uh, I get the rest of the notes. So adding a so to so gets re, and then adding a mi to so gets t. And there we have it. We have the entire musical scale: do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Uh, a lot of people, when they teach music theory, uh, they just say, you know, these are the notes. It's there's a whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step whole step, half step, whatever way they, they teach it, you know, they just say skip this note, 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 and then you have the major scale. Uh, and they don't really get into why uh, the major scale is the way it is. And the reality is, is that it's uh, a major chord, right, represented here. Uh, this is a major chord, this sort of shape. This is a major chord, right, with this as uh, Do, and this as Mi, and this is So. And all we're doing when we're building the major scale is creating the major chord on each uh, of the perfect intervals on, on Fa, right? And if we create this on Fa, we get... Uh, a major chord on Fa, which has La and Do above it, and then a major chord on So has T and Re above it, and that's really how we build the major scale. Uh, you know, and I think a lot of people spend a lot of time, you know, memorizing scales and modes and not really understanding the construction of the scales and modes and, and why they exist, but. Uh, you know, I think it's pretty cool that that uh, all we're doing is is taking one major major chord and building it on fa and so, and then we get all of the notes that we need for the major scale. So uh, this is pretty good for now. Uh, you know, I'm going to go into a little more depth on this later on. Uh, you know, it's just kind of theoretical. It's not you know a lot of actual music going on here. Uh, but we can go into the functions of each of these notes and the functions of each of these chords and chord substitution, all sorts of fun stuff like that later on. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, but this is sort of the foundation. This is this is the main way of, of thinking about uh, the major scale uh, that you sort of need to know. Um, and we can go into modes and all sorts of fun stuff later on. So this is why these notes and uh, this is building uh, the major scale from nothing really, just from just a length of string and a clock.